Hi everybody, a while ago I announced on Twitter that my company Spasi is building a new piece of software called MailCoach. And MailCoach is a self-hosted solution for sending out email newsletters and email campaigns. It comes with batteries included. It comes with subscriber and list management. We'll have a double opt-in functionality. Uh, we can use HTML templates and you can add in variables where people can uh, unsubscribe uh, with. We'll have draft previews and test emails and we can uh, also track the opens and the clicks of each mail that is sent out so we can calculate statistics around uh, your emails. Now the software itself doesn't send uh, the emails you have to use one of the big uh, email sending providers like uh, the Amazon uh, SES service, uh, Mailgun, and I think will add support for SendGrid as well. Now, in this video, I'd like to show you the progress uh, that we're making uh, with this package. It isn't ready for prime time just yet. A lot of functionality is already working, but we still need some time uh, to polish uh, the UI and uh, the functionality. But that being said, I'd like to uh, show uh, it to you what it can do. So let's start with the beginning with subscribing to an email list. What you're looking at now is a test version of my own blog that I've uh, set up to run locally and I have the package installed in uh, this application. My blog is a Laravel application. In the second tab, I have the mail coach interface open. So this is what you see uh, when you install the package and uh, hit the mail coach endpoint. We have campaigns here. These are the emails that we'll send. And here we'll, we have the lists that can be used to send campaigns to. And on an email list, what's the name? There are email addresses uh, subscribed. And I already uh, added a few test email ones. Now, if I go to uh, the newsletter uh, page again and try to subscribe, then uh, if I hit subscribe, I'm not immediately subscribed. I have to, uh, to opt in uh, to that. And if all went well, I got an email uh, message to confirm my subscription. Uh, let's take a look at the email list to see what uh, what we see there before subscribing. Uh, now we can see that we have those five subscribed uh, email addresses, but we also have one unconfirmed and that's the one I just, uh, just tried to subscribe. So let's confirm that subscription. And now we are confirmed. And if I hit refresh here, then there is nobody unconfirmed, but my own email address is now confirmed. So that's how that works. And almost everything you saw here uh, of the underlying logic is handled uh, by the package. Let's take a look at the, uh, the code that uh, drives this or yeah, the code that you need to write yourself in your application. So this is the controller uh, that drives that subscription uh, form. It accepts a uh, request here, a form request, and we're going to validate that email address ourselves. But the package uh, gives you a handy uh, rule that uh, you can use to verify if a given email address isn't subscribed to a certain email list now. And in this application, I just use this email list where the name is the freak.dev uh, newsletter. So this is how we verify if uh, you aren't subscribed yet. And let me uh, show you that that actually works. If I go to a newsletter here and I try to subscribe again, I'm going to get a notice that I'm already subscribed. Now, how am I going to uh, send out that subscription email or that, that opt-in email. Well, um, we're just going to create a subscriber with a given mail and we're going to subscribe to a certain email list, namely the one that I just showed you in the request. And after that, we are going to uh, redirect to an action here called uh, confirm. 
And that is the view that uh, shows you the text that, hey, we send you an email, you have to click that button to confirm that. So you are in charge of the entire flow and the entire experience that a new subscriber has. Now, how do we say which view needs to be shown uh, when you click that confirmation link? Well, you can do that with this rule. Here you can say that after being subscribed, you need to redirect to this uh, action. And that is the confirmed action. And that's where you say like, welcome to the email list. You're now confirmed, everything's uh, in order. And this is basically all you need to do to integrate a subscription process into your application. Now that you know how subscriptions work, let's take a look at how you can send an email message to all those subscribers. In MailCoach, it's actually very easy to send a message to all those subscribers. You just have to create a campaign. And let's do that now. And I'm going to name the campaign uh, freaked.dev newsletter uh, 94. And I'm going to use this template. A template is just a piece of HTML uh, that works as a starting point for your message that you want to send. If I create a campaign, I can inspect the name, I can set a subject, I can set the list I'm want, I want to send this message to, and uh, I can see that this email list has six subscribers. I can opt to track opens and clicks. I'll demonstrate that later. These are enabled by default. Uh, I can take a look at the HTML I'm going to send. And this HTML is very simple. We'll just uh, send three links two regular ones, and the last one will be replaced with a real URL where the subscribers can unsubscribe. You'll see some unstyled uh, stuff here. Don't, uh, don't be bothered by that. I'll make sure that everything looks top-notch when we ship this. The last step, delivery, is where you can actually send an, uh, an email. Uh, you can also send a test uh, email to see if the content looks good in your own mail app. Here you can see a summary of everything that we're going to do. You can schedule uh, this campaign to be sent in the future if you want to. You get a, a date and time picker here if you opt to do that. Or you can send it immediately. Let's do that now. So now it's sending those, uh, those mails out. And you can see that they are all sent out now and nothing happened yet. There are no opens and no unsubscribes. Let's head to my mail program to see if those mails actually arrived. And sure enough, I have those emails. Let's open one. So this was sent to Freek uh, plus test five. And if I uh, go to the open here now, then I can see, hey, that email address that opened it now. And our summary, it also uh, contains a little graph to see how many people that opened it. And we can see that we now have an open rate of 17%. Let's open uh, another, another mail and maybe yet another. And with any luck, we'll see this uh, graph grow and we'll see that we have uh, three opens here. Now you might wonder, how does this work? Well. I've already said that uh, we use uh, Mailgun for this application um, and Mailgun can actually send you webhooks to, uh, to tell you when a mail was opened. They embed a little image in, in every uh, mail that enables them to do that. And I uh, have here an Ngrok tunnel uh, where Mailgun is sending those, uh, those webhooks to. So we also have uh, click tracking enabled. So let's click one of the links. Let's click uh, Spassy here. Maybe also click Mail Coach. And if I head back to um, Mail Coach, then you can see here that we have registered those clicks. If somebody clicks again, then that click will also be uh, be registered. Where is 
mail coach which tab is it it's this one if i refresh here then you can see here that there is a, a total click count of two now for for this link um, we can also track unsubscribes so if somebody doesn't want to receive your emails anymore then uh, the unsubscribe link can be clicked and we see a confirmation that the unsubscribe succeeded if i head back to mail coach then i can see that that email address was uh, unsubscribed and if i head back to the subscribers of the email list then sure enough my own email is address is unsubscribed now now we also handle bounces uh, very well let's subscribe an email address that uh, doesn't exist bouncy at spasi.be we don't have an employee with that name i can duplicate this newsletter and let's just send it again and wait for it to be uh, sent and with a little bit of luck in the problems we already have gotten the notice from mailgun that there was one email address where a mail couldn't be sent to namely bouncy at spasi.be and if i go back to the list then i should see that bouncy is already unsubscribed so the next time you won't send an email to that email address again let's take a look at another interesting aspect of mail coach because you've install it into your application you can customize the behavior quite a bit mail coach sends out a lot of events where you can hook into and i've already prepared a silly example if i go to uh, my uh, event service provider then you can see that i now listen to the campaign link clicked event and i just log how many times a certain subscriber has clicked a certain link so let's see uh, if that actually works so if I tail the log of uh, my own application here and I uh, click somewhere maybe the mail coach link if everything goes well we should log that it's clicked now writing this event to the log isn't that interesting, but I'm sure you can find many interesting scenarios where doing something when a user clicks or when he opens uh, something could be useful. So this was just a quick look at what the, the package can do. Next to the package, we're also building a standalone application and we'll, we'll also record a video course with how all of this works behind the scenes. If you want to stay informed about uh, the project, uh, just subscribe to our mailing list at mailcoach.app. And a cool tidbit to know is that this email list is also powered by Mailcoach itself. And if you have any questions about uh, the project, just hit me up on Twitter. Thanks.